And good morning, friends. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's feeling blessed and um, enjoying this beautiful spring morning. I've got my window wide open and you can hear the birds chirping. They are so happy. But yeah, um, I've enjoyed the, the, all of a sudden the trees are budding, the grass is getting greener and plushier, and uh, daffodils are all over the city, um, all over the neighborhood. But mine aren't. I have, I know I've got daffodil, um, daffodils and tulips, but they're sparingly. And um, I think the reason why they're not blossoming is because um, the nutrients in the soil, um, it's probably, it's been neglected. So um, I'm going to have to just go and, and stir up the dirt and put in some nutrients some plant food. And hopefully maybe next year we'll have a better um, bloom. Um, but my azalea bush that's next to those uh, flowers um, is blossoming and it's a beautiful purpley and I'll show you a picture of it if I can um, purpley fuchsia color I'm not really sure what color to call it but it's beautiful it's kind of sparingly bush it's not really plush like I've had in years past um, but um, that's okay I'll take it she's beautiful and um, she's um, just showing off her colors in the front of the house so Happy for that. But anyway, um, what you saw me doing at the beginning of this bit vlog is I am starting to create um, and cut my own thank you business cards. So here's one that's done. And um, um, it's got my logo on it and all my information. And in the front it says thank you. And then in the back is where I'll write the personal note to the customer. So... Um, I, I started to design this in silhouette and uh, when I printed it out it the the logo had some um, crooked lines uh, some of the font was either flat or crooked and I was like that's not right it, why, why is it doing that and I know sometimes silhouette can be have that problem and I don't think it has anything to do with calibration I really don't I just think silhouette is not um, like Photoshop or Word, Word fonts and lines are supposed to be important or as important. But anyway, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. But anyway, I, I transferred it. I transferred the image. I saved it as a uh, PNG. I'm able to do that in silhouette. And then I transferred it to uh, Photoshop. Perfect. Everything is straight. The font is perfect no cut lines or crooked lines around here my logo is intact it's not distorted so um, I'm going to have to find out well, why Silhouette is um, doing that to um, to my projects so I don't like that it's not right it shouldn't be doing that so but anyway yes I had plenty of cardstock left over from my uh, stationary kits if you remember and um um, I thought, you know, I need to have some better thank you cards and um, business cards, so I combined the two. Um, I think I got the idea from um, May um, at May Art. She used to be Cuddle Kettle. Um, May I Art. So... Um, but yeah, uh, when she uh, did her, she, when she got her new um, business cards, I got to think, oh my gosh, I need to make some new ones because these are my old business cards. Now, don't don't laugh at me. I had a separate business card and a separate thank you card. So now these were my thank you cards. Can you see them? Are they focusing? Yeah. And then I used these as my thank you cards. And these were okay. Um, the color is not right. But they were blank in the back, and that's where I wrote my thank you note. So now, no longer using those. 
I'm no long I'm no longer using these but using these so I like them thank you May <laughs> um, I like them I'm happy with them um, the only thing is is I have to cut them out by hand so I've been doing it this morning since I'm early so um, it's okay I'll, I'll take the time to do that so um, an update on my um, telephones. Um, I don't know if you saw the blog where I designed and cut out and made some uh, telephones, retro telephones, out of polymer clay. And um, I was either going to turn them into pins or magnets. It didn't matter. Whatever the customer wanted. So I was so happy about them and excited about how they were going to come out, at least the way I visioned them. But um, I'm not happy the way they came out. Not happy at all. Uh, first of all, the paint that I used um, ran and got scratchy. And something I don't know why it would uh, get scratchy. But um, I'll show you. Let me take my glasses off so I can see. Okay. If you can see this. Um... It's got these smudgies and scratchies on it. And then, I don't know how many times, I bought um, uh, paint markers thinking that they would do the job. But the white marker just kept looking translucent. It wouldn't take on a solid, perfect white color. Um, like... Um, uh, acrylic paint would so I'm going to go back to acrylic paints using that so um, what I'm going to do is redesign um, these telephones and start from scratch go back to the drawing board and as you can see here see how they ran it bled um, that, and that's oh and it only did that when I applied the the resin so I I did oh here's another bad one but yeah, I just it's smudgy and scratchy and the white. I'm not happy with the white the way it looked. Same with the telephone cords. You know, they something, you know, why did they fade out? And just didn't like the way it looked. I don't know, just not happy with these. I think I did have one that was I want not wouldn't say close to perfect, but I am gonna keep this one for me. Um it's still not perfect, but I'll probably turn it into a magnet and add it to my other magnets. So, But anyway, um, I also at the same time was designing these. And I don't know why I only have three, um, but um, uh, I bought some more polymer clay. And when I bought this clay, it did not look glittery. And um, I'm not a glittery person. I don't like glitter. I can't stand glitter. I don't like working with glitter. It's so messy. I don't like the way it gets all over the place. and never goes away. But when I bought this clay, it did not look glittery. It looked solid. And then when I went to apply, when I was working with it, I'm like, oh, it's got little shiny speckles on it. But then when I added the, the resin, even more so. But look how, I do like the way this turned out. I do like the way it looks. And, um... It's, it wasn't messy at all because all the glitter was inside the clay. But I like the way it looks. And it's the white silver glitter. It's not different colors, which is, makes me glad. But anyway, I'm really happy the way these turned out. These retro typewriters are turquoise. Glittery turquoise. And I've got three of them. I'm going to put these on my Etsy shop. And I'm going to make more. And so, um, I'm, and I'm also... There's nothing in the back, and that'll give the the customer the option to buy it this way, just plain, without a anything in the back, or or with a magnet in the back, or a, um, uh, pins. So they can be a pin or a magnet. So it's the choice of the customer, and I'm going to give them that choice um, in my Etsy shop. So, so right now I've got three of those. And then I'm also going to offer uh, some leftover typewriters I had from my kits. If you can remember these from my kits. And by the way, I never updated you on my stationary kits, but um, I did sell eight of them um, within 
two and a half weeks um, after I put them up on my Etsy shop. So I did sell eight of them. I gifted one, and then I kept one. So, and then I had some, I had, I had made more typewriters than I did kits. But I've got these, and these are most, these will be considered seconds. I didn't use these because um, they either had a scratch on them or a mark or something, but they're still in great shape, great shape, and they're magnets. They're magnets, and um, look how cute they are. And if they've got scratches on them, it just makes it look more rustic and more uh, more vintage, right? So I'm going to put these up in um, my Etsy shop as well. And um, if I, they go well, I'll make some more. So... Um, that's the update on the typewriters, my stationery kit, and the fail, my telephones. So, just back to the drawing board with those. So, anyway, yes. Um, so, in this vlog, we're going to be uh, working, doing a lot of ASMR at the beginning and near the end. And in between, you're going to watch me paint my. Um, beehive that I showed on Instagram this past week. Um, that was so much fun. Um, it was a time that I took for me. I was in between projects and um, I bought the beehive at Michael's um, and um, I saw Ellis Jade paint something um, and I thought, you know, Michael's has things like that. I think she was painting a, a bunny rabbit or a deer. I think it was a bunny rabbit. And um, just, I just watched, enjoyed watching her paint it. So it just got me in the mood to do some painting too because I love painting uh, with acrylics, crafts, or illustrations. So uh, when I saw her doing it, I thought, I'm going to go to Michael's and get something. So when I saw the beehive, I'm like, that's it. That's calling my name. So um, you're going to watch me paint the beehive. Um, the bees are so cute on it. And then um, after that, I'm going to show you uh, some retro illustrations that I am working on. Um, there's several that I'm working on, I'm, but I just I'm just showing you a couple um, that I was able to videotape because it's so hard to remember to videotape, especially at nighttime. I don't know if it's the same with you all, but when I'm sitting down on the couch with my um, uh, iPad and uh, illustrating on Pro Procreate. Um, I forget to get my camera to videotape and plus it's dark it's nighttime the lighting is just horrible and I've got the TV going and um, the sound and the noise from that so um, it's just something I don't think of um, I'm in my creative mood and I just um, get not get carried away but I just don't want to bother with the camera so um, um, you mainly catch me uh, if I do draw in the morning uh, during the day when I'm up here in the studio so but anyway I'm working on those retro illustrations uh, because I had a customer request uh, some thank you cards some an happy anniversary cards and stuff like that so um, I'm, that's what I'm working on and hopefully we'll get those out soon I'm waiting on what kind of paper uh, I want to print on. I'm hoping to be able to get the kind of paper that's really smooth and has like a, a satin finish on it. Um, I did read somewhere that there's one paper company whose satin paper um, cannot be used on a an inkjet, which just makes me so 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 sad um, because that's my color printer, and um, uh, um, I'm not I'm not sure what I'm going to do if they're all like that. I'll have to get my um, cards outsourced, printed outsourced, um, printed uh, with a company um, or outsource them because um, I don't have um, any other way to print them in color except through my inkjet printer. So we'll see. I'm working on that. And then I'm also going to reveal or no, you're going to join me as I open up or unbox on my new laser printer, black and white laser printer so um, I'll get to show that to you and then uh, there's be there'll, there'll be some more ASMR towards the end um, and then that'll be it and I think we will end this little blabby chat for now and get started on this vlog so um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up friends 
and uh, please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions uh, please feel free to leave a question down below in the description box and with uh, as always with um, anything that I I reveal to you show to you um, I will leave links down below um, for you so have a blessed day a blessed weekend and um, we'll see you next time
a seam. to move it to printer center or printer central or machine central we've got the printer there uh, well the inkjet there laminator laser jet cameo silhouette there okay let's turn this baby on oh Yay. Okay, there's no stars because the stars are going to be printed on the laser so that I can eventually um, put some foil on it, feed it through the laminator that's over there, and hopefully the stars will come out just by itself. Okay, I'm going to go put that there. Stars came out. So the cat is printed with inkjet print or inkjet ink, and the stars are printed with the laser. So now I'm going to try to foil it. <laughs> Trial and error. Oh, I had it on the wrong side. <laughs> 